let me tell you something that just to educate our minds watch this if i am here now standing with another individual the moment i am open to the realm of the spirit the person standing close to me will be affected by that reality because i have opened a portal he may not know what has happened to him are we together now is the reason why people carry their atmospheres oh dear yes it is true people carry their atmospheres when paul as saul encountered jesus the other people in the donkey they did not know what was happening but they fell as a result of it you get that yeah so if my eyes is open and i'm seeing something now there will be a reaction within the circumference it doesn't matter anybody within there because a portal has been opened it's a vista it's a gateway it's an access point it will affect everybody within that circumference and this is the idea of walking under a, an open heavens that through consecration yieldedness and alignment you literally become a walking portal you are a conduit point are we together now yes when that happens to you as a man of god you become a mysterious blessing you will carry the power of god your assignment is to take the glory to meetings and the moment you stand there that portal is opened beyond just your preaching and singing all kinds of spiritual activities are happening angels ascending and descending anointings and mantles are pouring upon people whilst you are speaking hallelujah you can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere you can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere spiritual atmospheres are communicable you can be affected by another man's prayer life you can be affected by another man's spiritual climate men walk with their climates they carry their climates listen have you ever entered a room and you just sense that they've been gossiping in this room there's jealousy because these things are an interaction with the realm of the spirit as casual as they sound and the realm of the spirit has presence components that follow it hatred has a presence jealousy has a presence love has a presence power has a presence creativity has a presence it is true hallelujah that is the reason why you can listen to a man and by listening to that man and opening your spirit his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing it is true it is true blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god hallelujah you can enter a house where a man through the sacrifice of spiritual exercises has literally opened a portal there and the man may not be around you can sit alone in the living room and certain interactions in the spirit are happening to you because you came under a portal and open heavens this is true so if a man carries his spiritual climate it can have an effect on you it's true most high most high most high most high 
most high, most high, most high. Hallelujah. Now hear me ladies and gentlemen. Those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight. The gift of the seen eye. Not the open eye. Your eye can be open and yet you are blind. Parakatos kadibalakosia. Your eye can be open, man of God, and yet you are blind. There is the miracle of sight. Blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight. He didn't say that my eyes be open, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said, then receive your sight. It is a gift, you can receive it. The ability to see prophetically the ability to see through the mind of your imagination the ability to see to draw insight from scripture the ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny how could you fail with these systems of advantage no most high most high, most high, most high, most high, most high, most high. Something is happening to you, most high, most high. God bless you for listening to the sermon. If you're here to give your life to Christ, say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and surrender my life. Wash me clean. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day for my victory. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. God bless you. Congratulations. You are now free.